To analyze or design BJT-based circuits, you need to understand their three most common operational modes and the relationship between BJT currents and voltages. We'll start with this simple BJT circuit. If VIN is connected to ground, the base to emitter junction, or BE junction, is not forward biased. No current flows into the base, and consequently no current flows from collector to emitter. This is called cutoff, and the transistor will remain in this mode until the base voltage forward biases the BE junction. When VIN is approximately 0.6 volts, the BE junction begins to conduct. The base current IB, which is limited by the base resistor RB, determines the collector current, IC equals beta IB. The BJT is in forward active mode because the supply voltage connected to the collector through RC is much higher than VIN, and this ensures that the base to collector junction, or BC junction, is reverse biased. Some voltage is dropped across the resistor RC, and the voltage at the collector is lower than 5 volts, but we'll assume that the collector resistance and the initial collector current are small enough to keep the BC junction reverse biased. As VN increases, base current and collector current increase as well. Eventually, the collector resistor RC will drop so much voltage that the BC junction will be forward biased. When the BE junction and the BC junction are forward biased, the transistor is in saturation mode. The BC junction becomes forward biased when the BC voltage is about 0.5 volts. Since the base to emitter voltage stays near 0.7 volts and the emitter is grounded, the collector voltage will be 0.2 volts. This is called the collector to emitter saturation voltage. In saturation, increasing IB will only slightly increase IC. In this plot, we can see all three modes. As VN increases from 0 to 0.6 volts, the collector current is extremely small. When VN reaches approximately 0.6 volts, the transistor is in forward active mode, and collector current increases rapidly. When VN reaches approximately 1.05 volts, the collector current causes enough voltage drop across RC to move the BC junction into the forward bias region. This is when the transistor enters saturation. Though VN continues to increase, the collector current is almost constant. This next plot clarifies the relationship between collector current and forward bias of the BC junction. V out, which is the same as the collector voltage, begins at 5 volts and decreases as increasing collector current causes a progressively larger voltage drop across RC. The BJT exits forward active mode and collector current levels off when the BC voltage is 0.5 volts, which corresponds to a collector voltage of 0.2 volts. For more details, check out the link in the description or visit allaboutcircuits.com.